mine. I'm the writer of, well, the 11 year old's Guide to Linux with my mom. Uh, and I think you could tell that I was on split. But I'm going to be, but today, if you, I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking about Linux. And if you want to know more about Linux, you can download my book off of Amazon uh, for four bucks. And today, today I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you why I got into Linux, uh, why I like it, why I wrote a book about it, and how to install it on the device. That's why I have this right here. Now, um, I, now the thing is, I started out not knowing much about computers. Okay, I started uh, the first thing that I did when I was computer-ish was going. Oh crap! Uh, oh. Uh, uh, hold on. Having technical difficulties. You want to see the drawing? Yes, please. National Day of Civic Hacking. And uh, this is where I met my friend Amber. And uh, Amber. Uh, you might have heard she she went here and she did a few talks at Freethink a little while ago. But um, I met her. She taught she taught me about Minecraft, and I thought it was, it was mind blowing to me. You could place it on a block. And I was like, Oh my gosh, how do they do that? But I told you that I wasn't that tech savvy. And a little while later, my mom went to a uh, another tech conference where she learned about Raspberry Pis. And then that is where I got my first computer, the Raspberry Pi. But the size of a credit card. That. I plugged it into a computer and I broke it. Seriously, I plugged in the HDMI port, uh, plugged it into a computer, plugged in the sound, plugged in a speaker, plugged in a, a keyboard and a mouse, and I started it up, and I thought you had to make your own password. So I went to system settings and made a password, but I didn't know that terminal prompt did not show a password. So I typed in a password about eight times, and then I said, "Well, okay, I think I think I, I think he got it." And I typed it into the password thing, and nothing happened. So I typed it in again, and then I freaked out. I was like, "No, I broke it!" And so I had to type that, type that, type that, and then I never got the actual amount, and I freaked out. And so I had to give it back to someone who knew how to reimage it, uh, reimage the. Um, SD card to a version of Raspbian Wheezy and when, and an older version of Linux. And when I started and when I started up the Raspbian Wheezy, it still had the same thing because she didn't erase the data on the SD card. Though I didn't know that, and my mom didn't know that. So I was stuck. The next computer I got was I was on Christmas. <laughs> and it did not look like that. That's it looks well. It was a latitude. Uh, I think it was XP twenty um, twenty eight hundred or twenty seven hundred, and it was small. You could turn it into a touchpad. Uh, and the problem with it though was um, it was it it didn't. I think the RAM broke or something, but it ran like a slug in a molasses factory. <laughs> and I and I could barely do anything on it. And I and the only thing I usually did with it was run SNES stuff, uh, uh, and for like two months. And then my and then someone got in a rocking chair. I'm not gonna say who. Someone got in a rocking chair and rocked down on my computer. Crack! The hinge broke. One of the hinges broke. I look back at I look back at, at the computer and one of the um, cables was loose. Really loose. Like a rainbow cable, but I couldn't push it back in there. And so I started it up, and the black on the screen was red, and the white was pink. And so, and later I found out that the rainbow cable was broken. And this led to some sad, uh, sad stuff happening later. Um, but uh, uh, when I broke, when I got got it, I d I thought I could download a bunch of stuff. I found this on a regular basis. I found that because I, w I was downloading a bunch of free games, and it sort of was like this. <laughs> There's free games for free, and I'm like, and, the, and I got them, and then I got like, I think we did a virus check, and I got like 2,400 viruses on 80 gigs of data. 
It was just <laughs> terrifying <laughs> to me. And so, um, uh, and so, I, and so what happened is we managed to clean that off, and I learned some stuff. I started to get good at good at security. Though the rainbow cable come, co came completely loose on my computer and broke. Completely, the rainbow cable just got unplugged completely. And I didn't know how to plug it back in because I had to open up my computer. I was scared because if I scratch the screen, it wouldn't work anymore. And so we had to put all that stuff onto a different machine. The and when I put that stuff on the different on a different machine, uh, I got a black screen glitch. Um, I think you guys you guys know what a black screen glitch is. All right. It was when my, it's, it's literally what it says. It, the screen went completely black and I had to go to control, alt, delete, go to task manager, went up task manager, and do stuff like it was command prompt. Um, so I, if I wanted to open a Firefox, I'd do that. And I barely made, and I barely switched it over to Linux, uh, because, and I didn't know anything about it, I just jumped right in. Because my mom was talking to someone about Linux on the phone. She went to another tech, tech conference, and I learned about Linux. Uh, and how to install it through research, because I was sick that day. Uh, there was no school, and so I had to, re had to do research. And I had one computer here, and I was Googling it, and then there was another computer here, and I was doing other stuff. And I was like downloading Linux and all that. And um, I had a bit of, and yes, it worked for two months, but because I had that, and then the motherboard just went. Seriously, one, I, I, I was writing a report for my fifth grade class, and my computer just went. Uh, and, so, and so I uh, just kept on, because computers were, kept on, because computers were um, what I did. Later, later on, uh, I got a new computer, and I sold Linux on that again and again and again, because I found multiple bugs and glitches, most of which I reported to the, in, uh, to the National Tech uh, Linux Users Group. But one of them, I'm not going to say which distro, because I don't want any negative uh, effects done to any distro, uh, I got a, I got a uh, killer for my, uh, for a version of Linux that would seriously, I download virtual box to get like an Android, um, Virtual, virtual box. And what happened is I saw that my uh, terminal was being deleted, my uh, shop was deleted, my browser was deleted. I'm like, what? How is this happening? And so I and so I turned it off, turned it back on. Thought it was just something, a glitch that was going on. And uh, I got the Linux Mint screen and just stayed there. Hold it. I just told a version of Linux as well. It was a D-Minter, that's what I called it, D-Minter. Uh, and so I downloaded a bunch of onto my, onto my machine, and it's a machine I'm using right here. And, and um, I'm going to show you now. Uh, oh, wait, I don't know. I'm going to tell, going to, I'm going to show you this later. But let me get it started up first, because I don't want to. I don't want to waste your time with putting in a USB and all this stuff. So I, so um, I created a book. I created the book and the intro all the way back here. The book right there with my mom. With my mom, I told you. And I did this because I didn't want a Linux for dummies. Okay. I don't want people to think that they are dummies when they're reading a book. So uh, when I so I created this. And I was very happy with what I did. It started out with just a paper. So I was doing a report for my mom because I got a C in language. I was doing like four reports. And so one of them was on Linux. I wrote the report, and they thought, oh, this is a good report. Let's write a book. And so we wrote a book, and we put it on Amazon. And now I'm writing books left and right. But that is my first book. And, it's, and, I just, and I just didn't want a Linux for dummies. And I wanted people to know what Linux was, uh, even, if, even if they're 11 or younger or uh, 110 or something. So I got, so I made that. It's a short, like, brochure. And so, if you want to do all the things it says in the book, I 
think you're going to need a version of Linux. So. Yes, I'm going to re-image. Okay. So if you're if you're younger than 12 and you'd like to see this, you'll probably want to go ahead and just pull up. You can gather around because you can't show this on the screen. And um, so seriously, if you're a kid, come up so you can watch him do this. You'll know what he's doing. Well, we're trying. Okay. No, I want to show the, show one more thing. You might think re-imagery is like this. This. It is an Arch Linux, but I'm going to start. Something like this. It's simple. You only have to do a few things and it's there. But, if you, but when you get really good, you can do something like this. Okay. This, I'm going to be installing Linux Mint. So call it out, Thomas. Come on, guys, if you want to see. You want to see how it's Linux is installed, guys? Come over and play. Yes. Emma, can you see it? You guys can just stand over here. Okay. I told it to go and boot off the USB. And so I got some. So I. Now, where did you get the stuff for the USB? Start there first, because okay. without that, they can't do it. First, I went to Yumi. Uh, you can just do a quick Google search, and you'll find something on. So uh, I uh, went online and got Yumi, and I thought, and uh, you can do a quick Google search, and you'll find something with Yumi, and you can also find a quick Google search to find the version of Linux you want. So if you want uh, something like Manjaro Linux, which is a little bit like Linux Mint or Ubuntu, then you can just uh, search Manjaro Linux or Ubuntu Linux. And so. Uh, I'm going to be installing Linux Mint 17.2 Cinema, 64-bit. Uh, Let's see here. And you get this. And you start. Okay. Okay. Yep. And so you get this, and it's going to pop up with the screen that says, do you want to install or do you want to try? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Demos never go as big. Yeah. <laughs> Even Bill Gates has had the blue screen of death on him. <laughs> and the red ring of death. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, do you hey, you got farther than before! <laughs> okay. Well, Let's see here. You get this screen. Install Linux Mint. So you don't click the. Don't click OK and next without asking your parents. <laughs> uh, and, you might, and you really would like to connect to your Wi Fi network, so let's, let's connect to Clarion. So you can install updates before this. Uh, so, Thomas, how long does it take to install? 15 minutes, to, uh, probably. So, if we could start it. Tops is about an hour. So, we can start it and we can take it over next door and finish it over there. That way we don't have to all stand in here. That's yes. Right. That's uh, it, right? We have to have uh, we have to have it plugged into a power power source for our best results. We don't want it to freak out. It's not a good thing. So no, this happens when you're trying to install. Oh wait, were you guys listening? So well, I was going to say, do you want to take questions and we'll finish I think that'd be a good bit. idea. If y'all want to sit in the front row there. One, one more great. thing I'd like to say. If you're trying to install Linux to Linux, you get something like this, and you want to do that. You want, you want to do that. I, um, first time installing Linux to Linux, and I was trying to install uh, Ubuntu to Mint, I got something like that. I was freaking out. I'm wondering why is it doing that. Okay, it'll be there. All right. Got questions while well, it's loading. So, what gave you the idea to, to write a book? Why, why a book? Uh, well, first off, we got to see a language. And also, <laughs> <laughs> and also because, well, I, I, was, I found out about Linux. I, got, I learned a lot about Linux, and I decided to write a paper for uh, the C that I got to turn into uh, my uh, fifth grade math, uh, English teacher. 
for extra credit. How many pages are in your book? Seven. No. Counting in like the original book, yes. But, yeah, the original but book, but like not. You've got like full twenty-four pages. now. You've got twenty-four sm uh, pages for a ebook. So it's like a ten-minute read. And is it showing you how to install Linux? Here. Or just telling how to use it? Don't be distracted. Listen to the questions. Is it, what? Is it is it is your book telling how to install Linux or how to use it? Yes, it's, it's t talking about both of those. In the end, it teaches you how to install uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Puppy, which is something that's which is a uh, well, smaller Puppy version of uh, Linux for older systems. So, what does it start with? How's your book start? It starts with. Um, it starts with a um, intro to OSs because, well, you need to know what Linux is. Uh, you need to know what Linux is in a uh, just noun sense, not an improper noun sense. Is there any more questions from the audience? You want this to be encrypted? Here, Thomas, don't fool with it anymore. Just yeah, we'll it. It. There's questions over here. I was going to say, you are awesome. You are amazing. And I wish I could have brought my son here. But it took me like 13 hours to get out of Louisiana yesterday because it kept canceling flights. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, really, I'm, just so, I'm glad just to have come here and have met you. So my question is, where do I get your book? You said Amazon? Amazon. I okay. think it's amazing that you came from Louisiana to see me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, hey, I'm amazed by you. Actually, I, I got invited, but I'm so glad that you're here. Alex, I, I, Nick, I wish my youngest would hear. Okay, so, and how much is your book? Four dollars. Cool. We, we, good. Thank you so much. And doc, Dr. Theta Rice will be speaking <laughs> later. <laughs> so, how many different flavors of Linux have you tried so far? I'd say about five. And what's your favorite distro? You know, it's hard. I got Ubuntu here, though I've also got, uh, Xanos. Uh, there's Manjaro. I think I choose uh, Ubuntu over all of them. Have you tried any other operating systems besides Windows and Linux? Uh, Mac, but I don't find it that good. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Any other questions? Do you get the proceeds from your book? Proceeds? Uh, like the money? I get half of it. My mom gets the other half. <laughs> 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 we both wrote the book. Very cool. All right. I think that's, that's it. I got a question, Ben. Oh. Do you think you'll write another book, and what would it be? I might do a Hackintosh uh, for uh, uh, the 11-year-old's guide to Hackintoshes. Can you tell us what a Hackintosh is? It's, uh, as I told you before, the original Macs aren't that, aren't that good. But when you take a NVIDIA core and put it in a, um, put it in like a Mac, uh, not a Mac, a PC desktop, and then you uh, use a um, and you put Mac and you put a Mac disk in there, and so you'll be able to run Macintosh stuff. And you've got yourself a really overpowered, overclocked Macintosh, which is called a Hackintosh. Tell me about the other book you've written. Uh, I've also I've also written another book, which is a novel, at Avi Novel Camp, and there, uh, there I've wrote it, and it's it's in like I don't know. It's in this weird uh, printing site, but they, but they, um, so they get, I wrote a book at Avi Novel Camp, and uh, it's a novel, and it's about three, it's about four people who go on a journey because they, because one person because his family is poor, another person because he wants to get rich, another person because he won't, because she needs to do a favor, and the, th and the, and another person because, um, what was it? Because he's his friend, and he wants to get part of it. So. Earlier when you were talking, you said that um, you kept learning a lot. I, I guess I gathered you kept learning a lot because stuff kept breaking. Yes. So you broke, what, three computers first? or I broke, like, 15. Okay. What? Yes. 
You mean the operating system? You the just operating stopped system working? I broke. The computers I broke. Yeah, you remember, Mom? Oh, I, remember, I, I, I lost count, but I didn't realize it was so <laughs> <laughs> When, it, when the hinge broke, how, how, what did I tell you to do to repair it? Because you wanted a new computer. Duct tape. Like, yeah. <laughs> it did not work. It worked for six months. Six months is good. <laughs> for him, six months is good. <laughs> okay. This one's still intact. True. <coughs> okay. Well, thank you, Thomas.